Welcome to your Transformation Tuesday live guided meditation. For those of you who are new here, my name is Stephanie. I am a healer, mentor, and meditation guide based out of Calgary, Alberta. I work with you through a variety of Holy Fire Reiki, Neuro Linguistics Programming, and Breath Work to really take your physical human experience to that next level, going through the deep emotional healing of past traumas and triggers, and bringing that energy of inspiration back into your everyday life through reframing those mindsets and those beliefs, really connecting into the energy of your body and how your body is communicating with you, and then utilizing that breath for the embodiment piece to really move through it, to recognize that our, our lives are meant to be enjoyed. They're meant to be lived from a space of I can rather than I can't. And today we are diving into the heart chakra, which is all about unconditional love. And when you say unconditional love, it's exactly that. There's no conditions on it. And so when you think about source, God, angels, whatever it is that you resonate with, you are loved unconditionally because you're you. So you came here to have a physical human experience, to recognize what it means to feel. You know, when we think about like the 3D and the 5D and everything like that, the 5D is all just frequencies. It's vibrations. It's energy. So there's no physical attachments to what it is that those energies are connecting with. And so being human, we get to feel that, right? We get to feel what it means to truly love somebody. We get to feel what it means to be challenged and tested to then show ourselves just how powerful we are to be able to move through those experiences and inspire our lives from a space of grace and gratitude. So some of the things when we think about the heart chakra, what is really cool, I mean, if you're new to chakras and you're like, what is a chakra? Chakras are various energy centers within our bodies. And what they do is they vibrate in various ways to really mirror those external experiences from in our lives. So our root chakra is all about kind of that generation, right? It's the foundations of who we came here to be. And so our root chakra, we learned, is all about that safety, that stability, that security. And then your sacral chakra is all about that worthiness, the emotions, right? It's that polarity piece. And yeah, so the, ground, the grounding in the root chakra, right? And having the polarity within that sacral of, you know, if you feel worthy of receiving your dreams and desires, then you move yourself even closer to it. Your sacral, we also learn, is very connected to your masculine and feminine energy. So again, that giving and receiving. We all, as human beings, have masculine and feminine energies within us. And then your solar plexus, we learned, is all about that cause and effect, right? So that energy that you're mirroring and giving out to your dreams, your goals, your desires, is then being mirrored back to you. So if you are in a space of feeling like you're always focusing on the problems and like things never seem to be going your way... What you're doing is you're actually giving your power away and putting your attention on all of the problems, which is then going to cause you to receive more problems. So I know that that is a little easier said than done to be like, well, I've got all this stuff going on. How am I not supposed to focus on it? 
And that's the key, right? Because learning to change your energy within yourself, you're going to get uncomfortable because your brain and your body have been conditioned to live your life this way. And then all of a sudden you're sitting here being like, hey, wait a second, no, I'm gonna flip it. It takes a little bit of time. So always remember to be very compassionate with yourself, be very gentle and loving. It is also said that the lower three chakras really connect into that physicalization. Whereas the upper three chakras, so your throat, your third eye, and your crown, are more in that etherical or that spiritual realm. And then your heart is the bridge. It is that midway point. And it is also known as the rhythm, right? So the rhythm in which we are sitting in really helps us either A, feel inspired and empowered to go after our dreams and chase our dreams, or we can really get stuck in this experience of doubting ourselves and our ability to create nourishing, loving relationships, to let go of those past experiences with love and compassion, and really honoring what is that inner child within ourselves communicating with us. So when you think about your heart chakra, it is all about passion. It is all about tenderness. It is where we carry our inner child issues and rejection, right? So it is really when we think about the heart chakra, it is unconditional love. It is compassion, right? It's passion and devotion. It also operates the circulation within our bodies, Right? So if you think about it from a physical sense, if your heart ain't working, right, <laughs> you ain't here no more. So when we think about circulating that unconditional love, that compassion, that joy, and we think about our inner child, where have we felt negated or rejected for that beauty and empowerment that makes us us? Right? So our health, so the health of your heart, if you've been having some heart challenges, right, really improves when we can release that past pain. So letting go of the pain and the sadness and the sorrow, we can really sit and offer that love and compassion to ourselves because rather than rejecting our inner child and what they are wanting to communicate with us or how they are feeling, how can we create a safe space within our own lives to allow that inner child communication while also then creating a firm and supportive shift within how we show up for that inner child to support and empower them rather than feeling like we have to belittle them or, you know, feel like we have to control those emotions because you have to feel it to heal it, right? In one of the previous videos, it's one of those, like, you can't go around it, you can't go over it, you can't go under it, you got to go through it. And when you're going through it, it's really important to lean into those supports, to that guidance. So meditation, working with a mentor or a guide that can really help you go through those emotional attachments and past traumas and triggers so that you can empower your own light, your worthiness, and your sense of well-being for who you get to choose to be. So when it comes to the meditation today, we are going to be doing some inner child healing as well as really bringing that connectivity into the brain and heart coherence. So really making sure that our heart and our minds can really be in that connectivity from bringing that unconditional love into those mindsets. 
So rather than beating yourself up for a mindset, how can you bring more compassion and love and understanding to what those thought patterns are and then reframe them to then integrate a new belief system? So all romantic love is very much motivated by our constant search for union. And when we are looking for that sense of union or wholeness or oneness from outside of ourselves, we are actually inadvertently being victims to our own lives because we're looking for that external validation and sense of worthiness. And we also have to understand that people can only meet us within the same level of emotional depth in which they've met themselves. So if you are on this deep, soulful journey of connecting in and loving yourself for who you are, and you come across somebody that is challenged with that or is kind of struggling a little bit, how can you offer that loving compassion to be able to recognize that they are showing up within the realm of their own beliefs, their own perspectives, and their own experiences. So if you end up triggered by somebody, where are you taking things personally and giving your power away to what somebody else is thinking or feeling? So some of the doubts and imbalances within that heart chakra, right, is if we are thwarted within relationships or connections and unable to create and make those meaningful connections, we can really start to doubt ourselves and our ability, which can then create some confusion within our auric field. It's like we want these things, but because of all of these past experiences, we don't quite believe that they are possible. Honey, Lexi, I love you. Mom is working. I love you very much. I will take you outside after. I know. I love you. You feel all of the energy all of the time. Thank you, guys. My, <laughs> my little Lexi wants to be part of it, too. <laughs> so as we continue, right, we really learn that the heart chakra is all about that attraction and that passion, right? Have you ever met somebody and like the instant that you see them, you're like, you feel them, right? So you are attracted to that person, not necessarily by their looks, but it's that energy. It's a vibe that they put off. It's the rhythm in which they are sitting. And a part of you is drawn to that being like, I see something in you that resonates with me. And so then bringing that, also recognizing our hearts are going to lean to unconditional love all the time. So if you are going through a breakup or say you're experiencing some pain or some grief or some sadness, it is really important to really move through all of the different energy chakras together because when we can sit and move that like pain and sadness from our hearts, down into our, you know, our solar plexus, our sacral, and our root, we can really cleanse and purge those densities and those toxic negative energies within the energetic recycling bin that is our root and our sacral. So those, it's really kind of neat to see how everything is interconnected. Right? So when you place your hands over your heart and you just close your eyes and breathe, what do you feel? Do you feel that love and that compassion and that openness? Or are you feeling some tension or some anxiety or maybe even a little bit of fear? It's okay if you've, you know had your heart broken, it's, it's understandable that you may be a little hesitant to open it up again. 
And I invite you to really allow yourself that space to sit within that heart and just love, love all versions of yourself, appreciate them, accept them, nourish them, right? Even if it was one of those, you made a mistake, right? It's not about you berating or beating yourself up for that mistake. How can you, A, recognize that you made the decisions that you believe to be correct? How can you love and appreciate yourself for the lessons that you are learning and transforming within yourself? And how can you really bring that purging fire of unconditional love to those past pains that can keep you wrapped in that analysis paralysis or that doubt and unworthiness. So also recognizing that, you know, when you think of unconditional love, it actually neutralizes those negative emotions because <clears throat> we don't deal right through holding on to our emotional pain so before we get into the meditation i invite you to think about a time or an experience within your past that you felt like you were looking for that love and acceptance from outside of you and i invite you to in the meditation bring all of that energy back into your own heart space for you and i'm going to have a drink because you do all of the talking I'm super excited because we have the new website that launched this morning. So we have a new layout, we have a new structure. We are going to be creating a new schedule next week. So you guys will get to see me live Tuesday through Friday. So Tuesdays we will be doing the meditation on Facebook. Wednesdays we are going to be doing a wellness wednesday q a so you can actually if you make it to the meditation on tuesday and you want to talk about your experiences or what came up for you i will be live on wednesday mornings at 10 10 a.m on facebook and then thursdays from four to seven i will be doing live readings and reiki so all of those links are in the bio you can definitely get on the list early if you would like and then friday we are going to be live friday morning at 10 10 a.m to reframe our mindsets and thought patterns so that we can really feel inspired by our lives and what it is that we are manifesting and attracting to therefore then believe in ourselves. Oh, Miss Cheryl, we never think how the animals feel the energy. That is very true. And I know I've been going through a lot of my own deep emotional healing, a lot of inner child reflection and growing, uh, especially with getting the website all finalized and everything. I am so grateful for my team and for the support in every single way. You know, and it's really kind of neat when you can think about, you know, those challenges or those obstacles. And if you put that mindset of energy flows where attention goes. So what are you putting your focus on? Right. And for me, I know with Lexi, I mean, she just loves all of my energy. I was spending the time with my niece and nephew this weekend. So she got to be outside all like so much. She's like, Mama, I just want to be outside all the time. And I'm like, okay, I love you. I mom has work. I have I have commitments. So I'm super pumped and excited. I hope you guys love the new website. I am super pumped about it. I feel phenomenal. I have my new self guided course heartbreak healer that is launching October 10th. So that will be available with a super immersive experience to really connect in and heal your relationship with relationships. And you heal your relationship with the relationships through healing your relationship with yourself. And oh, Cheryl, I love it. Finally feeling wrapped in love. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? All right. 
because I could talk to you guys all day, <laughs> we are going to get situated. I do have singing bowls that I will be playing. So if you are connecting in and you're using headphones, just please remember to turn the volume down so that you don't get blasted. <coughs> <clears throat> or maybe you do want to get blasted. We're just going to let that go <laughs> as we clear that throat to bring in that unconditional vibration or that vibration of unconditional love. So as we are preparing for this meditation, I really want you to get intentional with what is one thing, what is one belief, what is one thought pattern or behavior or experience or habit that is still connected to that inner child and what are you ready to release? We have a new moon and solar eclipse tomorrow. It is Libra season, the energies, the solar flares, like it has been intense. So you're not alone. Today, we are really just going to focus on wrapping ourselves in that love, in that appreciation and that acceptance for who we get to choose to be. So I invite you to drop in the comments down below. What are you ready to release and what are you empowering within your own heart for you? I do have my singing bowls, so I will be doing the sequence. For the breathing today, we are just going to, we're going to open the channel and just do three cycles of breathing in for a count of five, holding it at the top of our heads for a count of five, and then exhaling for a count of ten. What this is going to do is this is really going to help us connect into that theta state, which is your subconscious mind. So when we are meditating, it is really important to remember that meditation is all about becoming familiar with. So we are becoming familiar with those thought patterns and those old beliefs so that we can reframe them and integrate new positive empowering ones. Ooh, I like it. I'm letting go of the need to, for some reason, find my happiness and self-worth in others. That, I think, is a pretty common one. And I feel like that is a very societal belief system. Because, I mean, as women, we've been conditioned to, you know, sacrifice ourselves and be that people pleaser. Because if we got that good girl, then we were good enough. And as men... I feel a lot of that comes from, you know, being very strong and ambitious and motivated and, you know, I mean, the, the masculine at its core is meant to be that provider and that protector. And so how can you lean in to your own masculine energy and protect your inner child with that unconditional love and compassion because you are whole and one within yourself. As we prepare our channels, settling in and getting comfortable, allowing ourselves to just breathe as we release Connecting in to the rhythm of your heart and unconditional love. Taking a big breath in through your nose. Pulling that breath all the way up to the base of your spine, to the top of your head. Holding that breath at the top of your head as you really bring your senses online, becoming aware. And as you exhale, sign it all out, surrendering and releasing. Taking another big inhale, pulling that breath all the way up like you're sucking liquid through a straw, pulling it up into the top of your head as you hold it there, opening your senses, grounding you down into the earth, 
beneath your core. And as you exhale, surrendering and releasing back into the divine. As you allow yourself to just be reminded that you are safe, you are held and you are loved. Taking your next big inhale, pulling it all in through your perineum, through your abdomen, up your chest, through your throat and your mind, all the way up to the top of your head. And as you exhale, resting and relaxing into the abundance of the unconditional love that you hold for you. Just recognize and notice how you're feeling through this experience. Is there any tension or resistance that you feel coming online? And as you bring your awareness into your heart space, visualize yourself standing before a large, enormous cave. This is your heart cave of unconditional love and empowerment. And as you step into your heart cave, you notice that that darkness turns into an iridescent and rainbow light. It's like the stars are sparkling with every step as you go deeper and deeper into your heart. And along this path, you notice a beautiful rose on the wall of this heart cave. And as you stand here for a moment, reflecting on this rose, it is closed in and you feel this call to touch it. As you reach for that first petal, peeling it back with tenderness and compassion, you experience a beautiful sensation and smell as it wraps you with this peace and bliss. As you continue to peel the petals back, you may notice some experiences coming to the surface. Maybe there are some emotions that you are experiencing. And as you witness and watch, becoming the observer, you will allow yourself to see the bigger picture. As you emotionally detach from any and all past attachments, traumas and triggers, where you felt unsafe, unheld, and unworthy of receiving that unconditional love. Some petals may be easier to open than others, and that's okay. Sometimes we are meant to come back as we recognize that this healing journey is exactly that a journey within the wholeness and unity of self. As you just allow yourself to reflect and be in this space, if you feel any thoughts or beliefs coming forward that tell you that you're not good enough, that other people are better than you, Really just reflect on where is that belief truly coming from? Is it actually yours? Or is it the belief and energy of somebody else that you took on as yours? As energetic beings, we attract mirrors within our own vibrational frequency so that we can really understand and recognize the doubts and the fears, not to beat ourselves up over them, but to love ourselves through them. Whether you were Hot Mess Express or Eagles in a Row, 
source, God, and your angels love you, accept you, and appreciate you exactly where you are. And as you continue through this heart cave, down on this journey, allowing yourself to become aware of a fire that is glimmering and glowing in the distance. What is this fire telling you about yourself? You feel yourself drawn to that fire. As you notice the glow getting brighter and brighter and as you stand before it, you recognize the power of that pure source energy that is glimmering and glowing with purity and love and infinite possibilities. And as you stand before this fire, Think back to that rose and those experiences that you were unraveling as you peeled back the petals, letting go of lust and jealousy, letting go of any and all experiences where you feel like you had to prove yourself. And one by one, I invite you to take those experiences, those thoughts, and those relationships as you toss them into the fire of transformation. <clears throat> Clearing the path for the vibration of your own authentic truth to come bubbling to the surface from the depths of your core. You feel the weight being lifted off of your shoulders as you learn to love and appreciate every relationship and experience. As you learn to honor and celebrate the lessons and the growth, the mirrors that you have attracted into your personal experience to witness the abundance and beauty that is you. When you feel grounded and supported within the space of the quantum field and infinite possibilities, you give yourself permission to meet those doubts and fears with an understanding and an acceptance. The more and more that you release those past pains of unworthiness or feeling like you had to be a certain way to receive love. You give yourself permission to feel the lightness through your being as you begin to dance around the fire. Feeling that expressiveness of your inner child growing stronger and stronger, brighter and brighter. That joie de vivre coming alive and back online. A baby is not judgmental of themselves. They love who they are exactly as they are. For they get to witness the abundance of joy of learning, of being, and receiving. Allowing yourself to just dance as you now bring your awareness into that future version of yourself. the version of you that has manifested all of their dreams coming true, that is wrapped in soulful, nourishing relationships, 
And as you bring your awareness into the thoughts that you are thinking surrounding these unconditionally loving relationships, bridge the gap between your brain and heart coherence as you love this future version of yourself within the here and now. As you surrender and let go the doubts, the unworthiness, the pain and the sadness that limiting beliefs have caused you to sit within the space of doubt and insecurity. As you lean into this mantra, I am worthy of feeling whole exactly as I am. I call the unity and balance within the wholeness of oneself for who I choose to be. I allow myself to let go of the past pain as I embrace the abundance within the here and now. I give myself permission to feel excited for what is to come as I put my focus and attention onto everything is always working out for me. As I sit within the rhythm of unconditional love, appreciation, and acceptance. Recognizing and allowing. Trusting and believing. Bringing your awareness back into a new body, into a new vibrational frequency and reality as you feel yourself wrapped within unconditional love and appreciation for who you get to choose to be. Feeling yourself within the space of overflow. Placing your left hand over your heart as you breathe in the grace and gratitude for new beginnings, radiant authenticity as you exhale, resting and relaxing. When you are ready, opening your eyes and bringing your awareness into a new body, into a new vibrational frequency and reality of infinite possibilities. Recognizing that you have always been worthy. You simply lost sight of the truth of your divinity. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am wrapped with unconditional love and appreciation for each and every one of you. I hope you received an abundance of insight and power through this experience. And I will see you guys next Tuesday at 1010 as we go into our throats and the vibration of our divine, authentic truth. Have a beautiful and amazing day. Enjoy the transformations. Happy rabbit rabbit. May this month bring you an abundance of opportunities, high vibrational relationships and collaborations as you empower the light and soul that is within you. There is only one you and you are always worthy, forever whole, completely enough just like stardust it's time for you to be magic